Well, hi. In this video, we're gonna go over some non-basic tech items you can give someone that loves working out. That way, you avoid yourself a trip somewhere here in Decisive. Welcome to Fitness Tech Friday. My name is Al, and if you're new here, on this channel, we go over dope fitness tech every Friday in under five minutes. If you're into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because new videos come out every week. This video is not gonna be like the ones that I've seen on here or TikTok or Instagram where they kind of throw out the same ideas. Get them a pre-workout, get them a gym bag, get them some more workout clothes. Instead, when I was thinking about making this video, I thought, let me break it down first of all into three different categories. Something that regardless if he's a runner, a cyclist, or if he hits the gym, something that will hit home on all these three categories. Next, I wanted to make sure that it's budget friendly. So it has three different tiers from very budget friendly options all the way to the more flexible spending. And at the end of this video, I'm including an item that's not tech related, but I wanted to go ahead and include it because regardless of what fitness sport he's into, if it's bodybuilding, powerlifting, running, if you stay tuned, it's something that I received last year. And by far, it was one of the best experience of last year. Category number one, earbuds. Because really music and fitness, I mean, they really go hand in hand. So this is gonna start us off with our higher tier, our flexible spending, any gift idea that's $199 and above. Our number one vote is gonna be AirPods Pro. So the AirPods Pro are nothing new. They've been around since October of 2019 and are priced at $249.99, but you'll see them go on sale from time to time. Now they are very comfortable. Are they the most comfortable? No but their noise cancellation works well. So overall, it's a great product, especially if they're already in the Apple ecosystem. If they have an iPhone or an Apple Watch, this is a great item to consider. An alternative option would be the Beats Fit Pro. Still in the same tier, but yet more affordable. These are listed at $199 and are almost identical to the Apple AirPods Pro. I would say they might be even a little bit more comfortable because of this wingtip that they offer here but they are friendlier for Android users, so that's something to consider. Out of the two, I personally go with the AirPods Pro, not because of the sound quality or the battery life, but in reality, mainly because of the form factor. I personally carry my AirPods Pro with me at all times, not just at the gym or for running, but these are great earbuds overall just for talking, so the form factor, because it's about half the size the case, is the reason I choose these over the Beats. Let's move on to our second tier, gift options that are $50 and up. Now this is gonna be an oldie but a goodie, the Jabra Elite 75T. It's listed at $79.99. Now I don't have the Jabra Elite earbuds with me anymore. I lost those a long time ago. But before I owned AirPods Pro or the AirPods or Beats, I owned the 75T model and the 65T model. And I have to tell you that if you're looking for just good audio earbuds for working out or for talking, it has a sleek design and you're okay that it doesn't have wireless charging. If you're looking to spend anything under $100, then the Jabra Elite 75T model, I would strongly recommend that. Now for our third tier of $20 and less, this one was a little bit more difficult. I didn't want to just throw out a product just because. So you could find wireless earbuds and wired earbuds uh, for $20, but I didn't get a chance to try it or test it, so I wouldn't recommend it, and the reviews don't look very promising as well. So instead of getting him a new set of earbuds, what I would recommend is customizing the existing pair that he has. Now you could find all over the internet, there's all kinds of different cases or different skins for earbuds. You can find anything from movies to anime to TV shows to his favorite sports game, but Let's go to our second category now, activity trackers. So let's start off with our high ticketed items, anything from $199 and above. This is gonna be my recommendation, the Apple Watch Series 7. The Apple Watch is way more than just a fitness tracker. It's basically another iPhone or a computer on your wrist, but it does have all the fitness features that are available in 2022. 
and at the same time it's just a great overall day by day watch. The only thing I would be cautious about is if someone is into long endurance training then this might not be the watch for them and of course if they don't have an iPhone and are not in the Apple ecosystem then this will probably not be uh, the best watch for them. If you're mainly focused on fitness features or are an Android user, I would personally get the Garmin Phoenix 7. Um, it is a little bit pricier, listed at $799. But for me, as my day to day watch and what I use regularly, it's gonna be an Apple Series 7. For our second tier, and quick reminder, this is for items that are $50 and above. It's gonna be the Amazfit Band 5. Now this item actually sells for $39.99, but because of all the features that it has, I just had to put it into that tier. For $39.99, you get a responsive touchscreen, you get music controls, it keeps track of your steps, your heart rate, it even comes with Alexa installed. So for $39.99, I'm going to say that this is the item that has the most bang for your buck in this entire video. For our third tier, again, this is $20 or less. Yes, you could find some activity trackers out there, but the reviews speak for themselves. So instead, what I would say is customize what he has once again, or something that he might use already. So if it's a smartwatch or an activity tracker, these accessories are a really fun way and I personally enjoy them. Now, regardless, if he doesn't have an Apple Watch, they make these for Samsung, for Polar, Garmin's, Fitbits. There's different ways you can customize the activity tracker that he has right now. Um, I had to get creative for under $20. Um, that's not a lot to play with, but personally, this is something that I would enjoy receiving. But let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, like gifts under $20 that are for these activity tracker smartwatches category. But all this working out, let's move on to a completely different category, self-care. So let's start this category off again with that high ticketed item for that flexible spender. This is going to be the Recovery Air Pro system from Therabody. They're compression boots. What that means is imagine kind of like your massage gun all around your legs without having to do any of the work. Now I say it's the most expensive one on this list because the Recovery Air Pro is $9.99. Now I don't own one but previously where I worked I used one daily if not regularly. Now this brings us to our second tier. Anywhere in this category from $50 to $100. I would definitely recommend a massage gun. Would I recommend this one? No. This is the Theragun Mini. It's $199. Before I had this I owned the M9 Pro massage gun and that's the one I would recommend. I don't have it anymore. I gifted it when I received this one but personally I enjoy the M9 better than this. I feel like it's stronger, it's got the highest reviews on Amazon, you probably have seen it before. Only downfall is it doesn't have a removable battery, but neither does this. And it has multiple different attachments as this one only comes with one. It's the M9 Pro Massage Gun, it's available in Amazon for $50. I'll attach the link below. And this brings us to our last tier. For items that are $20 or less, this budget friendly. Um, yes, you can find items on Amazon or at Walmart, but I wanted to think of something different, something that I would personally like and it might help you come up with some ideas of your own. But I would personally benefit a lot from a $20 gift card to the App Store. Now this could be for Apple or Android, but with $20 this will allow you to get a subscription to Apple Fitness Plus, to the Peloton app or to other mindful meditation apps such as Calm. And I personally would enjoy this experience. You could get a couple months out of it and it might be something that the two of you could do or just on your own, just another way to take care of yourself and really practice self-care. So there you go guys. These are just some gift ideas that I have for that techie fitness guy. Now, if I miss anything, put it in the comments below. Let me know, I'd love to get some more input. But as I mentioned, I was going to finish this video off with giving you one item that's not really in the tech space world, but if someone's into fitness, I personally got this last year and I loved it. And my girlfriend signed me up to a half marathon in October of last year. I did the Long Beach Half Marathon. So consider that. 
sign someone up for a 5k for a full marathon maybe if they're not that into running do something like an obstacle run a Spartan event a Tough Mudder there's plenty of, of different organized events that you can do and at the same time if scheduling conflicts go wrong a lot of times with these organizations you can move the data around so you don't necessarily lose your lose your investment there but there you go guys those are just some gift options that I have hopefully you like this video until then, I'll see you guys next week. You can follow me on Instagram or on Strava. I'll put the links below, but I'll see you next week.